Hey, what's going on? It's Parker and Mike, AKA Pops, your old pals. Just kidding, you're, it's more likely you don't know who we are because we don't have much of a following yet. But it's all good. We're right in the middle of a really fun project, a 1974 MX-125 uh, that's an MX, but we're sort of turning it into a YZ, similar to what we did with this thing. This is a 360. This is one that I've been racing and a uh, really fun bike. It used to be an MX with that tank on it. And we wanted to give it the aluminum tank YZ treatment with the strap. And so anyway, we happened to find this MX 120, is it a 125? 125. 125. I always want to say 175, because I think because of your XL. Yeah. But um, we found this little MX 125 for a really good deal. It was like 800 bucks and we're giving it the busket arrow treatment the stuff that pops is really good at which is just taking it all apart and cleaning the crap out of it making all these parts brand new again i don't know if you can see that or not but these rims were barely barely recognizable as motorcycle rims they were nasty <laughs> nasty old pipe broken up plastic uh shredded seat just everything you'd imagine of course not running not functioning so we're making it brand new again. And there's a few things we're actually gonna upgrade on it. For one, we bought some progressive shocks. 13 inch, 12 and a half, I can't remember how big. 14 and three quarters. Brand new, beautiful shocks that look the part. They look vintage, but they're brand new. So that's gonna make this thing perform a whole lot better. I also found this aluminum, it's like a custom built aluminum swing arm on eBay. Also it, a YZ part. We're restoring it, but it's, it's really, it's a resto mod. We're, we're taking an old 74 MX-125 and really bringing it up to YZ standards. So that, that's, that's what makes this fun for me. The tank's all done. Most of the parts are all reconditioned. Now I'm just going to doing all the details of making everything fit. The video that we're gonna post about this will be a, sort of a slow ASMR, you know, step-by-step -step, uh, video of him, you know, putting it all together, painting it, sanding it, you know just cleaning it up putting the new tires on it assembling it it's going to be like uh it's going to be one of those like really satisfying just kind of uh yeah. slow moving therapeutic kind of videos this kind of stuff that he and i watch all the time <laughs> people just putting motorcycles together no talking no music no shenanigans just <laughs> nice easy watching cannot have shenanigans yeah but anyway just wanted to give you a little update we're right in the middle of it should be done I don't know, within the next week or so. so. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've ordered some custom suspension, obviously, that we just showed you. We've also got some custom fork springs being wound. Well, we'll do redo the, the fork seals. We'll show that and put the new fork springs in it that'll make it so that even as a little 125, it fits him. Yeah, it's a little silly that a 220-pound guy wants to race uh, 125 with 30 millimeter forks. It's kind of like a pit bike with big wheels, just like my XL. Yeah, and if you've watched any of our other videos, all the, uh, the like the Boise race we go to, the 125 class always has the most fun. Uh, Ryan Villapoto raced it, Nick Paglia, you know, you watch those Jake guys. Jake Weimer. Yeah, Jake Weimer. You watch those guys battle on 125s and it's one of the coolest things you've ever seen. Yeah. Even though they're not going as fast, but that those high revs of a 125 are hard to beat. Yeah. And this one will be this one will be dialed. Uh, thanks for following along. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and we'll have a lot more videos to come. All right, bye.